Today's date is 427 2016. And we're here at Showplace Cinema East, and this uh, is a movie done by Steve Oglesby, and it's uh, sponsored by Freedom Heritage Museum. And we have a crowd of probably about uh, 200 people, and this is the crowd here for tonight's movie. This is the showing of E, and E is going to be a, a movie that depicts the reenactment of World War II, the Sicily invasion on Dress Plaza, and it was done in June of 2015. Uh, all of us have heard a little something about Evansville during World War II, but what you may not know is the magnitude and the impact of what Evansville achieved. World War II transformed Evansville, then Evansville changed the world. So that's what you're gonna find out tonight. Immediately after the movie, we are gonna have the first Evansville Oscar Awards here in this movie theater. So stay tuned. And I also want to ask you, stay in your seats throughout the whole movie. At the end, there'll be the credits. Uh, and then we will start the uh, awards right after that. So here's the movie E. Hope you enjoyed the show. First of all, I'd like to salute our special guest tonight, and that's our Rosie the Riveters, the home front workers, and our World War II vets. If all of you who are here, just wave your hands. I want everybody else in the audience to see that you are here. And with the Rosies, you know, their motto was, we can do it. But I can tell you, if it wasn't for them, we wouldn't have been able to do it. Also want to point out and recognize two particular uh, gentlemen. One of them is Ray Clayton. Just wave your hand. And the other one is Alan Sanderson. Those were the two old warriors you saw here communicating and, and talking with each other. And that conversation is just priceless. Well, tonight we're going to have the first Evansville Oscar Awards. And it's going to be given to the best cinematographer, the best narrator, the best action hero, and the best director. Now, there was much deliberation regarding this and looking into a large number of very talented cinematic professionals, but we were able to unanimously agree and select the four winners. So 
So the envelope, please, for the category of cinematographer. It is Mark Fisher. Mark, please come on down. Yeah, Mark is receiving as his award an authentic World War II Army-Navy E pin. <laughs> this is what the work has got here in Israel. Only 4% of the manufacturers in the United States during World War II received this honor. <laughs> Next envelope. This is for best narration. <laughs> and the winner is Brad Bird. <laughs> now, Brad says this is the because of the weather tonight. He had to stay on the air because of the particular storms out in Kentucky, but he wanted to wish everybody very well. He was our narrator from the previous movie in reenactment that we did, Forever Honor, which was about the 70th anniversary D-Day, and he also did the Sicily Invasion. So we're very proud to give him this award, and he really adds to the uh, legions of the narrators and reporters of World War II, and I consider him among the Walter Cronkites and the Andy uh, Uh, Rooney of, um, correct, of World War II. So the uh, next uh, envelope, please. This is for the best action hero. And the winner is James Goodall, a.k.a. General Patton. Please This award it is an original G.I. Joe action hero. <laughs> this is a commemorative World War II 50th anniversary G.I. Joe. Now, our hats and salute to him because he's the only Master Sergeant I know that got bumped up to a promotion immediately to three-star general. <laughs> Last but not final is the award for best director. And the winner is Steve Oglesby. I tell you, I call Steve the magic man. And the movie you saw tonight just shows the oodles of talent that this man has. His award is an authentic World War II 16 millimeter movie camera. And the reason being is Steve, even though I view this movie as the best work he's ever done, he will say that he hasn't even got there yet. He's still working on, he's a perfectionist. So this uh, camera actually is for his next assignment. <laughs> but as you know, we are the home of the P-47 Thunderbolt. Our next movie is going to be about the P-47 Thunderbolt in action. The only thing I can't figure out is 
how, yeah, this is an aerial camera that was used on the fighter planes in World War II. In fact, some of that historic footage that you saw was actually shot with similar cameras. Now, the only thing I can't figure out is how Steve is going to hang on that P-47 <laughs> wing and shoot with that camera, but... <laughs> but... But I would like to have Steve say a few words about his movie. I, I don't know what to say. This is a... This is unbelievable. Uh, uh, we're, I think there's a famous line in a Spielberg movie where um, the characters say, uh, um, "This we are merely passing through history. This is history. This is this is phenomenal. I can't I can't thank Rich enough. It's, it's very thoughtful. Speaking of thoughtful, I couldn't possibly thank everybody that helped with this who's here tonight, and mostly thank you for being here in this rotten weather." And, and giving a damn about showing up. I really do appreciate it. But, uh, it means a lot to us, and uh, it means a lot to the cause of the Freedom Heritage Museum. Um, the, I, I need to mention uh, specifically our, our three experts that you saw in the film. Uh, one of them is here tonight. Uh, uh, Dr. James McLeod is here with his family, and that's a, a big honor. Jim, can you let me know where you are? <laughs> This is in the book. If you think that if, if any of that stuff in the, in the movie interested you, him explaining it was what is interesting. Uh, you can imagine what a thrill it is to be in one of his classes at AUE and have him teach you history. But, but if you really want to know the inspiration behind the reason the film took the course it did, it was his book. And it's available now. It was printed last year. And I'm sure he'd uh, appreciate it if you uh, get a copy of it. I know if you're interested in the topic that you're not going to find a better source. Um, it, insp it inspired where we took the film. And I haven't got much besides that. Uh, I'm very humbled that you're here. Thank you. Very much. A reminder to those that participated in this movies as reenactors, uh, etc. Uh, if you didn't sign the movie poster when you came in, please do so uh, as you leave. Uh, also, there will be DVDs that will come out uh, shortly on the movie, and they will be available for purchase. You can sign up uh, if you're interested right now out there on the table. There's a regular DVD and also come out in Blu-ray, so please uh, pick and choose uh, what you'd like. Uh, so I want to thank you all. Uh, this is uh, a close of tonight's program, but you're all welcome to come down and meet the folks that made the movie and won the awards of Evansville's first Oscars. <laughs> And always remember that World War II transformed Evansville, and Evansville changed the world.